Hey there, Kenny. Thursday went. It was weird. I'll, I'll tell you about it in a minute. It's it's been a while since I booted up the computer, so uh, I'm having to turn all this shit on. Okay, so I went out on, <laughs> I went out on Thursday, right? And, uh, actually it was, it, I didn't even go out on Thursday. So what happened was I was waiting for a, uh, I was waiting for like a phone call. Okay. So I applied on their website and when I applied on the website, uh, I got through, I got the interview, and, like, the lady was like, all right, let's set up an interview for Thursday. And I was like, okay, so set up for Thursday. And I never got a confirmation call, so I called the recruitment office, because that's what I was going through. And I was like, hey, so what's what's going on? I never got a confirmation. She said, oh, well, I meant next Thursday. I was like, well, you sure as fuck didn't say next Thursday on the phone. And I was like, okay. Uh, so, and she's like, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get you in for Thursday or for today and I was like okay and then she called me back and she said so the store you applied for is full and I was like no they're not it's like I was there I was like I went there and they're not full she's like well you applied for Fairfield Ohio and I was like no I applied for Hamilton but your website redirected me to Fairfield after I filled out the Hamilton one I was like go look in there every time you click on it it takes you to Fairfield and she was like okay and then uh, I was like, I want to apply to the Hamilton one. She's like, okay, well, then we'll switch you to the Hamilton one. This, this bitch, she transferred my application to Hampton, Virginia. So I called back, and I was like, hey, so I don't live anywhere near Virginia, but if you want to pay me to live in Virginia, I'm okay with that. But you better pay me a lot. And then she said, oh, you don't? Well, here's what I'll do. I'll send you a list of places that are available near you and we'll reconvene. So this lady sends me nothing. Nothing for two days. I didn't get nothing. So then uh, yesterday I got an email that said they've moved on with other applicants. And I was like, what? So then I went to the store and I was like, hey man, how long have you guys been searching for a mechanic for like this position? And he's like, oh, the, the position, I was talking to the manager. He was like, the position has been open for like six months. I was like, I know why. I was like, I know exactly why. And I told him exactly what happened. And he's like, you're joking, right? I showed him all the emails, the texts. And I was like, yeah, dude, uh, this girl, this girl has no idea what she's doing. And when she can't figure out what to do, she just lets the person go. I was like, so, I was like, good luck trying to find somebody. And then he was like, well, just give me your stuff. He's like, I can, I can call you back. So I'm going to talk to him later. But I also applied for like my dream job at BMW. I don't know if that'll happen, but I thought I'd, I thought I'd shoot for the stars. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened. It was, it's weird. So I still have a shot. I just got to like go through the actual store instead of their recruiting office because that lady has... No fucking clue what she's doing. Yeah, they are, but, like, it's a, it's a corporation. Like, they... The, the corporation is, like, you have to do it through the recruitment center. So I can't do it. It's not like a mom-and-pop shop. It's a big business. So it's just... It was just... It's just been stupid. I've been doing that. I've been trying to sell my car. I've been trying to, like, push the t-shirt thing. I got, like, business cards. Then I'm going to go hand out downtown. Uh, I was going to try that. But yeah. So I've just, I've been busy doing all that stuff. 
Uh, and I was gonna stream yesterday, but it ended up get it ended up being like super late. It just like today. Okay, oh fuck. You gotta be joking me, you gotta be joking me, you gotta be joking me. That's four notes away. Ninety-six, fuck off game. That's it. I'm done. That's I'm I'm done, man. That sucks. I guarantee oh, that you. Sucks so much. That's so if, fucking If bad. he was Jesus standing Christ, up, why did that have to happen? Come there would have had like he would have had like six spins to get all that negative energy out. He was spun six times. The negative energy would have exuded. That's what he does. So when AJ when AJ streams and he does his spin, that's what he's doing. He's getting rid of the negative energy. He spins in a in a motion that jettisons the negative energy out of his body. So he would have just done like six spins and been like, "That's all right, guys. Let's uh let's go at this again." It would have been easy peasy. Thanks, thanks for the raid, AJ. <laughs> Bastard. Dude, I'm not the one who missed the four notes. I'm just saying, dude. I would have got the four notes. So, yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened with the, with that. Uh, and then... Yeah, not much else. Not much else. I put together I put together this neat little video that kind of like it's just like an all-encompassing video about the entire Tales journey we've been on. I was hoping it, I was going to share that tonight. Uh maybe maybe sit and talk for a little bit and then probably stop streaming. I wanted to play I wanted to start playing Arise, but it ended up getting too late cuz I had to go get the kids. This is the last weekend that my wife had to work at Spirit, so I should be able to actually do stuff on the weekend now. I've been, I just spend the whole day with like the kids and like next thing you know, it's like 10 o'clock at night. So, uh, if you guys, if you guys are ready, I got this, I got this neat, this neat little video to show you. Let me see if I got a thing on here. This one. There it is. Uh, let me turn myself off. There we go. So check this out. I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me make sure it's not too loud.
Yeah, I hope you guys like that. That was a uh, that was just a little project I decided to do. I like it too. <laughs> Tales of Blinky. You can thank Tumor for that. Tumor made that. Uh, Tumor made that, and he did the he did the beginning part. But I, I put I put all the clips together. Those are all my those are all my favorite clips from every Tales game we ended up playing. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like that. I'm probably gonna share that on a couple other things later. Oh, that's nice, dude. I fucking I I love it. I love it, dude. I've I've, I've rewatched it a couple times. That's why I had everyone vote on their favorite uh their favorite theme, because whichever one won was the one I was going to use. I guess with a rise, you'll add more to it eventually. Yeah, I kind of wanna. <laughs> that'll be what I play before we play a rise. Every time that'll be the intro to the stream before we uh before we do a rise. I'm trying to figure out what this uh this week's schedule is gonna look like. It's like uh. So tomorrow, I don't know what tomorrow's because tomorrow's Halloween. Objection! Robin in the Amy cosplay. I'm getting better at it. I'm getting a lot better at it. I know the path now. I basically know the path. It's right at the end. Yo ho ho in the barrel of it. monkeys. Okay, that's that's good RNG. That is what I want to see. Hey that there, Goji. Yeah. What's up, guys? How you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. It's good to see you. I've been I've been like so fucking busy. I've been so busy. Just nothing but constant busyness. I'm trying to I'm trying to find a. I'm working on getting a job, working on doing all these uh, these t-shirt things. Gosh. And children? Children on top of it? Good lord. It's good to see you too. I've almost, I've probably almost got enough on your channel to make you do another cosplay. Thank you, Drake. Yes, I love this shirt. It was like, there, there was, a, it was a surprise. I went to the Hot Topic at the mall. Uh, my wife, uh, she works at Spirit. Wait, she doesn't get a discount there. No, she gets a discount at um, Spencer's. But we went in the Hot Topic because it's right next to Spencer's. And they had all these Kirby shirts. It was crazy. I've just been busy cranking his hog all day. Yeah. I say sod work. Let's just go to the gym. Dude, Goji, my gym is right there. My gym is right outside this door. I have a, I have a treadmill, pull-up bar, bench press. Everything's right outside this door. My whole life is down here. I wish I could just go to the gym. Dude, I gotta... <sighs> Not actually lurking, just wanted more curvy. <laughs> so I got this shirt and another shirt from Hot Topic. And I, there's usually never anything good at Hot Topic, honestly. It's usually just, like, typical anime shit. You, now they got game stuff, which I'm cool with. My working machine is next to my bed, I understand. <laughs> Even closer than mine, which is... Uh, 10 minute walk away. Okay. Goji doesn't need more gym. Have you seen that guy? I have not. I want to see I want to see him. How jacked is Goji? I don't know. I don't know if you've seen Goji, but I lost I lost uh 30 35 pounds. I lost 35 pounds in like 2 months by dieting and exercise. Dieting and sheer exercise. I ran uh 6 to 8 miles every day with a with a weight vest on. I'm not I'm not like super cut. But I'm not a fat fuck anymore. <laughs> Thank you. They had VG shirts in my Hot Topic as a kid. I wasn't edgy, but I still did a lot of shopping there. Yeah, all I've seen lately is uh, is anime. Just a lot of anime in Hot Topic. And then Spencer's has like a bunch of like porn stuff. Bunch of sex toys out in the open now. Is it time? I'm th I was thinking about it. I was thinking about dipping into it. But I might show that video again. Did you guys see the video that I made? Um, I know Robin. It's Robin, right? I want to. I want to be sure. I'm. That's that's the name. Uh, that's your chosen name now, right? Apparently, Spencer's used to be gag gifts, but now it is just sex. It is. What are my personal bests on my major lifts? So I don't really try to go for anything crazy. I have I have tiny little arms. So I want to say my bench, my max bench is probably 175 or something like that. Um, 
if if we're uh, squats. Squats would probably be like 400 pounds. Uh, I don't I don't know why squats are so easy for me. It's Noah actually, but you haven't been in the loop for a while, so it's not your fault. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Noah's a cool name to be fair. I know I know a couple Noahs, so I, I'll keep that I'll keep that in mind. Dylan just has muscly tree trunk legs. I do. My legs. See, the thing is, I've been a fat fuck most of my life, so my legs are the only strong thing about me. So I can I can squat a lot. I cannot bench press a lot. Teeny tiny bench presses. Skinny little stick arms. I recently came out as trans. Let's fucking go. Congratulations. He actually lifts his cars when he works on them. Yeah, I can't afford um I can't afford jacks, so I just pick it up. Yeah, pretty easy. Pick it up with one hand, uh, and then I just work on it with the other hand. My squat is shit. I think it's 260. Yeah, I remember back in high school, I was in I was in three weight classes. It was a, uh, it was weight, weight training, weight lifting, and weight strain is what they were called. And when I got to weight strain, I remember this. His name was Coach Zare, and he came up to me and we were doing we were doing we were maxing out. And when we were maxing out, uh, you know everything else I just kind of like you know just did like one thing and then like said it was my max. And then he saw me do the squats. And he didn't let me get away with it. I did like a 150 pound squat. Like it was nothing. I just put it down. And he was like, what was that? I was like, it was a squat. He's like, do you know what the point of maxing out is? And I was like, to do as much as you can, right? He's like, that wasn't as much as you could do. He's like, add more. And he kept, he kept adding more. He would keep adding more until my, like my fucking knees were about to buckle backwards. And then I think, that was in high school. I think I did like three, 350, 360 that day. Something like that. My bench is 245 and deadlift is 365. I've never deadlifted before, ever. Trying to get stronger, but traditionally I've been a stickly skeleton man. You are a skinny boy. Yeah, I think you're hot though. I'm doing a rebrand this week, so my channel name will be changing, just FYI. Okay. Not sure what to yet, though. I can't wait to see it. I used the squat 360? Yeah, dude, it's... I don't know, I just got strong legs. Here, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull up this video again. And I'd like you I'd like you guys to see it. Tell me what you think. I just, I just played this right before you got here. So this... I had everyone in my Discord... I had everyone in my Discord vote for their favorite intro Tales song. If you don't know, I've played through every single Tales game, uh, every mainline one. So I played through 16 titles so far, all like 40 plus hour games. And we're on the very last one, which is Tales of Arise. So I put together this little this little video to kind of celebrate the journey we've been on. It's all of my favorite clips from all the games put to the, the everyone's favorite uh, song they voted for. So. I'm gonna I'll play this real quick and I I hope you guys like it.
Oh my god, Sto dude, there's so many some. fucking raids today. Yo, Stoneheart, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh. Bro, it's it's fucking it's It's been wild today. Dude, what were you, what were you guys? I need to know what everyone was up to. What epicness is this? Fuck, dude, I will play it again. Don't fuck it at me, dude. I love that video. So, I was just you you raided in the middle of a, a video that I put together that was like it had all of my favorite clips from uh, all the Tales games that I played because I'm on I'm on the very last one I'm on Tales of Arise, so I took I had Discord the Discord vote on their favorite Tales intro intro theme, and then I put all the clips together in a one video that's just just the whole the whole journey all my favorite parts of it. I was thinking about maybe starting the beginning of. The uh, of, of Tales of Arise. I'm not too sure yet. I don't want to get like too into it and then people can't stay and watch me get into it. It's the raid summoning video. A fucking parent Lee, dude. I'm happy for it. Uh, what is the Blanky Warrior's weapon of choice? Dual swords. Dual blades. I don't care if they're knives. I don't care if they're great swords. It doesn't matter to me as long as I have two weapons. Two weapons, preferably bladed. But I will take anything. And Doggy Boyow, thank you for the follow. Stoner was playing Persona 5 Royal. Yo, really? Your Stone's mod? Are you are you a new mod? I, I've, I've been in there a couple times. It was, it was a while ago since the last time I've been uh, active in Stoneheart's chat. I've been so fucking busy. I also love dual wielding. I'm a huge dual wielder. Fucking big dual wielder. Love it. Persona 5 is fucking awesome. I'm like, I'm in the middle of a lot of things right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get back into the workforce because my kids are good now. So I don't have to, I don't have to be home full time. So I'm trying to get back into the workforce. I've been trying to sell t-shirts because I make, I make merch at home. So I've been trying to like create t-shirts for other streamers and try to like do that. So it's been, it's been fucking crazy. My whole day is packed. Doggy's been mod a while, but yeah, great dude. Uh... Also, yeah, Persona 5 is based. Persona 3 is my personal favorite. Persona 5 is a really, really good, uh, a really good newer title. That's definitely, it's, it's a really good new JRPG. Uh, congrats on the shirt, but thank you, Noah. Also, nah, I'm a traditional single sword man, bastard sword length. So, like, your typical, like, broadsword, kind of. A little bigger. I was tempted to make my current figure custom dual wield. Persona 3 is god tier. I'm so fucking glad to, to hear it. Persona 4 just causes fights online. I hate- I, I'm, on, I'm in the camp of hating Persona 4. The first one? Goji, you bastard. You fucking- you ballsy bastard. Persona 1 is so hard to play. Persona 1 is like the the picture perfect aged game. Like if someone ever tells you, yeah, that game was good, but it's it's definitely aged. Persona 1 is the aged game. It is so fucking stupidly annoying to navigate. I hate that game. I don't know how Persona became such a series with that as its title. Persona 3 is really good too. Never finished it though, which I should. Persona 3 is fucking amazing. Everything about it is really good. Uh, they hit the nail on the head with a lot of the story elements, so it was a really good game for me. I want a sword that I can use either one or two-handed, and maybe a shield occasionally. Okay, so you're a Dark Souls guy. FF7 aged poorly? I wouldn't say it aged- it didn't age as poorly as Persona 1. Persona 1 is like the picture-perfect, like, it looks like it would be a good modern game, like you could play it now, but then you start playing it and you're like, oh, fuck me. Wow. 
Like, they made that game right at the turn of the century. So, like, if you ever see me play it on here, you'll, you'll fucking know. It's, that game is, that game is ridiculously hard to navigate. Sonic Persona fan game? Apparently it's really good. I need to look at that. Is it worse than an NES era RPG? It's like that, honestly. So it's like, it's like, Persona 1 is a JRPG that's on the PlayStation 1, but was made for like the NES. Like it has, it has PS1 graphics, but the gameplay is shit you would see on the NES. Persona 2 is supposed to be good. Persona 2 is good. The combat is a little uh, difficult to understand, but the story is really, really fucking good. So, like, gameplay okay, story amazing. I beat 7, it was okay. The music and story was still the best parts, but the gameplay can be fun sometimes. I never got, I never got out of the city when I played it the first time. 8's my favorite. 9 is a close second. Uh if it had to fight uh, five or six, whichever one. I forget I forget what it is because of the the nationality thing where all the all the numbers were different. I beat Mother One, but that's arguably one of the best NES era RP it, it's 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 a lot more difficult than that. It's it's mm. you all want hard Pokemon games? Try Demi Kids. Atlas's version of Pokemon so goddamn hard. Is it Demi Kids? Or isn't that isn't that just Demon Summoner? Demon Summoner is is Atlas Pokemon, right? Or well that's Shin Megami Pokemon. The negotiation system in Persona 1 is ass. So like navigating dungeons and and uh, negotiations, like are they're awful. They're so bad. Like negotiation was always difficult, but in the first one it makes no fucking sense, I swear. I personally connected with Cloud Strife a lot when I played it, so I really like Final Fantasy VII. So I wonder what the first SMT game was like. The first SMT game was for the NES. Uh, it came out in 1980... Was it 6 or 9? Super fucking old. I did not know. I remember I watched the guy play it. There was a guy who did a Shin Megami... Uh, he did a Shin Megami era... Uh, like just every game and he started with that one and wow Holy fuck talk about a hard to fucking conceive game like just watching him play it. I was like this this looks difficult <laughs> Thankfully the PSP remake is the one I'm playing so it's better 86. Yeah, and I Like dude, I didn't even know games were like that old like well I knew games were that old, but I didn't know games like that were in that era or like being made yet. I thought they were like starting to get made in like the 90s. But yeah, that uh, that first game looked fucking obscenely difficult. SMT1 is stupid hard for no reason. I I watched the guy play it. I watched a person play it and this guy doesn't really like show emotion. He just kind of like does it. He just kind of like plays the fucking game. But like the whole time I was like, "Wow, dude, I'd be fucking ripping my hair out." What the hell? This looks so stupid. And he'd just be like, ah, oh, well, fuck. And then he'd restart. Feels like Persona 3 was the first, even though there's like three others before it. So Persona 3, you probably see as like the first because uh, Persona 3 was the one that was like worldwide. Persona 1 didn't leave Japan until PSP, I think. No, I think they did localize that. They might have. They did. They did because they made Zack black. That's right. They made the they made the uh, the ginger kid a black guy. So they did localize it, but it was like poorly, poorly sold. Like no one bought Persona One here, uh, and I don't think I'm not sure Persona Two got a localization because Persona One did so poorly. And then when Three came out, Three was like worldwide. It was everywhere. It was Japan, USA, Europe, like everywhere. So that's why that's why a lot of more people knew about Persona Three. But it still did not sell that well. Persona 4 is the one that sold well, and that's why everyone's on its dick. Because everyone who loves Persona 4 is usually the only one they played. Guaranteed. Nearly guaranteed. If you if you ask them if they're like, Persona 4 is the best one, you'd be like, well, which ones have you played? Five. Persona 4 and 5, that's it. They say it's the best one, and they've only played like those two or just Persona 4. 
Goji collects like all the Atlas games. I didn't realize. Oh, dude, check this out. Look, this is an Atlas game. Dual Hearts. See? Atlas. <laughs> if you mess up the story on SMT1, it locks you into shit endings. I thought you were talking about a guy named Zach Black. No, there's just there's a in 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 the in the Persona One, there was one kid. Uh, I, his name was Zach, and he was just this white kid with a uh, with, I think I think he was red hair and a and a hat, a beanie, and when they localized it, they made him black. That's to make it more appealable to Americans. That's what that's what it said. I just I just thought it was <laughs> I just thought it was funny as hell. One of the Persona 2, uh, 2 got localized, actually. Uh, Persona 2 uh, was on PSP. So I don't know if it got localized at when PSP happened or if it was localized when it first came out. That's why you have that one guy from World War II but with glasses. The Fuhrer, yeah. It's the Fuhrer. Uh, no idea who he is. He's just a cool guy with glasses, I guess. I'm going to play all five and say I like four just to spite you. Fuck off. <laughs> Thank you for being one of the few people who agrees with me. <laughs> the Dual Hearts video was good, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I did skip some due to the spoiler warning, though, because I want to play that game. He looks like Charlie Chaplin for some reason. <laughs> you mean Hitler? <laughs> the Fuhrer? Charlie Chaplin? Maybe he is. Maybe they're the same person. So yeah, Goji, this is um, this is Dual Hearts with PS2. This is like this game is like a hundred to two hundred dollars online. It's crazy how expensive this is. Um, I just did a video on YouTube about uh, I got the world I got a world record speed run in this because nobody has ever speed run this game before. Want me to finish P1 and 2 at some point? I kind of want to. After I finish these Tales games, I want to play Persona. I want to do the Persona series. Charlie Chaplin famously did a movie making fun of Hitler. Did he really? I really don't know much about Charlie Chaplin. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I really, I really do wanna play this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this video one more time. We'll see if we can summon one more raid during the video. I'm gonna play this video one more time so we can uh take it all in. And then I'm gonna start Tales of Arise. I'm at least gonna get past the intro stuff. Just a little bit, just a, just to get a little taste of of what's gonna happen. I think Führer works at my local Starbucks. <laughs> All right, let me pause this. All right, I'm gonna play this video one more time. Please take it in. Let me know what you think after it's done, and then uh, we'll. Start some arise, and then we'll we'll talk JRPGs. Bruh.
So my my favorite thing about that video is um so I've been playing these games for two years. It's been it's been almost two years. I think in uh is it May? May is when I started playing Tales of Fantasia. So it's been two years. So you see the beginning when I started and like the layout changes like every game. Every game the layout's different. Um and like <laughs> I don't know. It, like there's there's like a point where I was like at the very beginning I was like 200 pounds and then I was like 210 and then there's like from one game to the next I lose like all the weight and I'm just like <laughs> it's it's crazy to see. It's a great shot of Dylan going his own way at the end there. I uh, I'm a big fan of that shot that I did. I was it was really embarrassing to like film that out in that field I was in, but I kind of just did it. I ignored everybody. Wasn't even streaming when you started the series. Yeah. I uh, I started streaming myself in I I think it might have been No, it was okay. So I started in May. I started streaming in May. I got affiliate in April. And then it was it was uh, or March. I started in March, and then April I got affiliate, and then May is when I started Fantasia. So then, and I played, I we played almost 100 games since then. I think we're at 96 games that we've beaten. I played more, but everything I played from beginning to end, nine, like 96 games total. Damn, that was quick. Only a month. Oh, to get affiliate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um... I mean, I streamed a lot, and then I got I got really lucky. Uh, I got to know this community, MNS, and a lot of them were like watching. They would all like watch each other and stuff. Fucking, you never see those guys anymore. They're all dead. Like that whole that whole thing is dead. Like I never see them. I, I barely see them anywhere anymore. Like if anything, I'll see like two or three of them in one spot. But yeah, it was thanks to them I was able to get affiliates so quickly. And then everything just kind of like, you know, went pretty fast. So, let's see here. Oh man, this is a big moment. This is a big moment. Let me, let me stop the music here. So, yeah, I, there are 17 Tales games. And the shortest one is about 30 to 40 hours. With the longest one being like 60 hours to beat. Uh, and that might, it might, uh, that might be a little much. Uh, it'd probably be like 50, 50 at the most. And I think that one's Legendia because it has like a, a second thing, which I didn't do. So I did 40. So I played 16 titles that were all averaging around 40 hours per playthrough over the course of two years, which leads us to today where we're, here we sit in front of of Tales of Arise, which is a game that came out with this game came out. I started playing Tales of Fantasia before this game came out. And I was like, oh, I'll play through the whole series and then I'll play this one in like a couple, like a few months. A few months. That didn't happen. It was a lot more than a few fucking months. So I bought this. I bought this game. And I just installed it. I've never played it. I know nothing about the game. Except these two characters. And the one guy with the red hair. The, uh... Whoever that guy is. Um, I know he's super hot. Everyone loves him. Only things I know about this. Words spoken before disaster. <laughs> really nice to see you streaming again, dude. I missed you. I've I've been streaming. I've been streaming. I just haven't streamed in. It's only been like a couple days because I've been doing other stuff. But yeah, I typically stream in like the morning. That's probably why you miss me, because your time zone is like, like when I'm streaming in the morning. That's like I don't even know when that is for you. Time zones do fucking suck ass. It's awful. Uh. Usually for me, it's waking up. Those That's always a fucking... That's not a choice, though. See, if that was a choice, I would just be asleep forever. But it's not a choice. You just wake up because you fucking, your body tells you to. 
So if if I if I continue streaming, it's gonna be they're gonna be really late streams. But this is what I've been striving for. This is what I've been working towards this whole fucking time. It's almost 1 a.m. here, if that helps. It's almost 1 a.m. Well, I usually stream at... Tw uh, is it 12 p.m.? Yeah, tw uh, 12 p.m., my time. That's uh, that's usually when I start. What if they announce a new Tales game as soon as you beat this one? I have to play that one, too. Obviously. So, I'm gonna... You know what? Well, we'll fucking... We're gonna dip into this for, like, an hour. I'm I'm excited and very nervous at the same time because I've played all the Tales games. I know a lot of people love this game, but I've played all the Tales games, you know? So now I'm going to be like I'm going to be looking at it under a microscope of of all of these Tales games I've played. So that scares me a bit. <sighs> I don't want to hate it. I don't want to come this far and hate this game. I really, really hope I fucking like it. I guess English. We'll do English. I want to be your girl right now. You are the place my only Oh my god, is this the band that did Bleach? Fuck, dude, this is hard! Ass. Oh! He's so cute! Is that Tanjiro? Tanjiro from Demon Slayer? Oh my god. Fuck, dude. The intro's got me sold. This guy's got two swords on his back. I like to see that. That's what I like to see. That's what I fucking like to see right there. Can't be worse than Zestaria, and that's the hope that I have always. I always, in the back of my mind, think if it, as long as it's not that bad, it's you know gonna be it. You know, nothing can top that. It's really hard to. Um, let me see if I can change the thing from my phone. Okay, hold on. No, no. no. Oh, listen, I'm not trying to get copyright strike immediately, okay? Uh, I'm just going to change the game. Tales of Arise. I played six hours of it, and it wasn't really my type of game, but it is gorgeous. It looks really good. It's still funny to me, the stream of Tales that I watched the most was your Zysteria stream. Wow! This game is fucking good looking. I'm just on the title screen and it looks really, really good. Can I want to turn down the music. Here we go. Fifty, okay. You're finished, Demon Fang. Take this. Sighted. You're mine. First aid. I think. I, I guess fifty will be fine. All right. What are we looking? Difficulty moderate, hard. Story. <laughs> I'll do moderate. 
Input queuing. Station marker. Set whether the... Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'll take all this. I'll keep all that on. Yo, buy the SAO collaboration pack. Clearly. Send me some money for it and I'll buy it. Oh. I know this is just a fucking, this is just another game to everybody else, but God, to me, this is like such a, it's such a weight. It's such a weight that was on my back. Like, you know, I had all these games on my back and like at the very top was this game and I just slowly, slowly got to it. So it's like, it's a lot of pressure to be starting this. <laughs> I, I really don't know how to feel. In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the Crap, departed this could game rest is fucking forevermore. Gorgeous. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology. Okay, we're at aliens already? Jesus Christ! That was fast! It's soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts, known as Zoogles. The prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. What the fuck are these names? What the hell? Where are they coming up with these names from? It is ruled from? over by the tyrant Balsef. Balsef? Really? Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags. And no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. Hell of an intro. This game is like a 9 out of 10 visually. Like, holy shit. Hurry up! You call that pushing? Put them back into it, embedded! Fucking embed fail. Embed failure? Games have come a long way. Uh, Iron Mask? Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All with- Alright! Third squad! Time to regroup! <laughs> Go on, get moving! Hey! Wait for me! Thank you, Iron Mask. I was afraid this okay. wouldn't look Cole. like a Tales game. Hurt? No, but I'm it really, fine. it really looks like one. Iron Mask, you, 
You're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Why would they send a kid to do that job? That's just foolish. Well, maybe they just wanted to kill him. Hmm. Jesus, man, this game is fucking beautiful. Holy fuck. Why does this game look so goddamn good? There, pathetic. I'm gonna head off, dude. I'm getting pretty tired. Have fun with this. Hey, dude, good night. Uh, thank you and Noah for the raid. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. You guys, please have a good night, and don't forget to get swole. Not even mentioning the 3D. What do you mean the 3D? What are you talking about? So, I mean, I don't know. It feels, it feels, it feels like tails, but it feels a bit off. I don't know. Something feels a little weird. Ah, uh, you again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. Why is he wearing this no mask? No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danans are always dying. And the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Keep your voice down, will you? I've always wanted to wear shoes like that. Just soles that are like uh, fucking taped up to your feet. Fucking sexy so sandals. Simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. Is that why it's As called a rise? Because we're going to arise. Judge for yourself. <sighs> there, that should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just. The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young, and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. That looks dirty. Mark what if he's ugly underneath the mask? The Keep it off. He's got Don't the ugly. Around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. Do I get to play the game? Guess I'll go back to my room. Yay! Let's talk to the boy. Are you okay? Thanks for saving me earlier. You're welcome, child. You're welcome, child named Cole. Who's naming these people? If everyone was born into slavery, who's giving them names? The bright eyes stick these weird stones into our bodies and then work us to the bone until we're dead. And as if the routine beatings from them weren't enough, when they're in a really bad mood, they like to sick their zoogles on us. Their zoogles. Objection! Hi, Kenny. Alright, good. Alright, let's like go. Everyone. Let's fucking go, skeleton bitch. So how come I'll take highly to your cool. fucking there? Or face. There we go. There we go. Uh. Teabag on the. Like there we go. Look at it. Look at it. Look. Oh, there's his bone. You see his bone? Alright, I'm gonna just, um... No. There we go. No, that's not. There. There we go. There's a bunch there of go. dead people. Oh, you snap! 
Oh, no. Bunch of dead people here. They're all dead. <sighs> Not matter how tired you get of seeing them, you can always... No, I think it means to say no. Damn, we already got a fuck up? There's already a fuck up here? No matter how tired you get of seeing them, you can always find Rena and Lenigus hanging up in the sky. I hate it. It's like they're watching over us, keeping an eye on our every move. That Lenegus especially is something else. There's no way we can ever hope to beat the Renans when uh, they can build floating castles like that. Ever wonder what those bright eyes like to burn all over the place? I'll tell you. It's the fuel they make us mine for. There's no reason for us to do it. Once we do, they just take it and light it up. And that's why it's hotter than hell here. Damn, okay. Yo, slavery sucks! So that's what I'm learning here, is that slavery is not cool. Listen, whatever the bastards do to you, don't even think about trying to fight back against them bright eyes. Got it? I know, I know. Not like any of us have a chance in hell of ever beating one of those soldiers or their zoogles, let alone Lord Balls of... Ballseth. Shh! Don't talk about this in public, you two! Who knows what they'll do if they hear you guys? Damn! That's a comfy sleep! Wow! That is a comfy motherfucking sleep! Man, man must have balls the size of Texas. They just got, they need room. They need the room. I should get some rest. Can it wait, Iron Mask? I'm trying to catch a little shut eye over here. I'm trying to sleep over here. I'm sleeping over here. Sure, let's rest. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. That looks like Mine a comfortable now, ass brick. For how long? Tomorrow's Damn. another day. I guess I should get some shut eye. I'm gonna try to sleep on a cinder block tonight as my pillow. See how that turns out. Tails is a jump button. It does now, motherfucker. Welcome, welcome to the new century. Welcome to the new era of gaming, where you can I jump in your JRPGs. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. I think this is the first Tails game where you can jump. I don't think there's any other Tails game I've played where you can jump unless... Or out on, jump on the field, aside from... Well, I would say versus, Time but that's also battle. Away for the can you jump in other ones? Am I gonna do this until the day I die? You can ledge climb, you can jump, but you have to like get an action for it. It's like the first one where you can just jump. Look lively, slaves. Let's you can tell because I'm jumping all the time. Here. If I could jump in any other game, I would do that all the time. This is the first one that does it like this. Well, there are, like, there are jumps, but they're, like, you have to get to a ledge that allows you to jump and push A. But yeah, this is like the first one that you just have a jump button to jump. Mm. Oh! <laughs> now, I guess the slaves are dead, too. Nope, the slaves are fine. Grenar! Who the fuck is this discount fucking Barrett here? There's a waifu in here! The s oh my god, the train is carrying waifus! She's here. Kills a man and then does her hair afterwards. Come back.
Damn, we like 10 minutes in this game. We almost got our first upskirt. That was quick. The girl's nowhere to be found. <sighs> this hurts. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> Hey, you're <laughs> bitch, stop breathing so loud. <laughs> I can hear you all the way down here through my mask. Over there! Don't move! Go now! Huh? Hurry, get moving! <clears throat> Stay still! You cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way or not. <laughs> Yay! Hard way! Let's go! I always vote hard way. Silent Hill 2, we got the pipe. Yo! Look at him go! Bro, this is sick. Oh, he's gonna do it! Oh, he did it to him! Bro, don't even let me play the game. This guy does it better. Pretty fucking cool. Come on. Where you go? Hope you can jump. Huh? Did you hear that scream? That sounded just like Peach screaming. You all missed your chance to become Lord. Which means you lot live and die for me, the mighty Balsaf! He is saying Balsack! He's no saying Balsack! I don't care what you say. On. The mighty <laughs> Balsack! <laughs> Even the drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord O'Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Volkiris. What do you want? I hate when they make up names like this. From I fucking I hate hear, it. Dude, you just, just name him Steve and Andy. I, I, I quit making shit up. Lord, it sounds silly. I really thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of Broderick your concern. instead of Balsa or Balsif. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly Balsif would have been so much be better if they're like Balsif. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. My man drinks through his teeth. It wasn't in the budget to show him shattering that, so they just made the noises.
well. Amid the abounding light of heaven, come forth, son of the God, dead hand. Who are you? The name's Tulsa. I'm the medical hey, officer artist. for the Crimson Crows. You were in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the resistance for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eye's best laid plans. The Danon resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. How do you eat? That How the fuck does he eat if he with... can't take that off? Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? My man has to eat through a straw. Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go Dark wings, blood wings, crimson so crows. Interested. Why do all these birds fly so they can steal shit? Imagine if the straw were paper. I know, that would be your worst nightmare artist. On? So scary. I need to go and find out for myself. Look, I can jump! Look at this. Look at this. Already, already a completely different game. If you want to know something, I'll tell you what I can. What is this place? What are the Crimson Crows? Who's Zephyr? Where's the woman? Who are you fighting? I'm good. Thanks. What are the Crimson Crows? So it's a resistance group. They're a resistance group. What is this place? This is the old Zioni mine. Oh! One of the Crimson Crows safe houses. Abandoned mines like this one are pretty commonplace, so we have no shortage of places to hide out. If you want to know something, I'll tell you what I can. Zephyr is the Crimson Crows leader. He's not just physically strong, he's got real smarts. He's indispensable to us. He's Barrett. He's just Barrett. What is, is this? Why is this just a carbon copy of Final Fantasy VII right now? If you want to know something, I'll tell you what I can. Where's Tifa? Tifa's up ahead. Zephyr's interrogating her now. You can check it out if you're curious, but I wouldn't disrupt the interrogation if I were you. Who else? The Renans ruling over Caliglia. The ones that came from Lenegas have been giving us hell for the last three centuries. Of course, we can't even reach neighboring towns, much less Lenegas. So our current target is the and, the, and there's the Renans and Caligia and their Lord Balsif. Balsack. If you want to know something, I'll tell you what I can. That's it. I mean, why would it not be Final Fantasy VII? It's called Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> Electric Girl is Aerith. This girl is Tifa. Tilsa equals Tifa, clearly. So, one thing I've noticed already is the voice acting is extremely scaled back because in, like, Berseria, every person you had to, like, talk to would talk. I think in Zestaria they would, too. I'm okay with it, though. I'm okay with everything not being voiced. Like, I like, I like to read sometimes. The only reason the Bright Eyes want to mine through Caligia so much is so they can get as much fire out of this realm as they possibly can. Hey, I noticed you don't have a spirit core on your body. Did you dig it out yourself? You did really good not having any of the Bright Eyes catch you without one all this time. I'm impressed. I got out. I took my X-Sphere out. No more X-Sphere for me. It's probably easier on the budget, too. That's what I was thinking. That's why I said I don't necessarily hate it. I understand that it's definitely like a quality back. Ah, damn it! So it wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. What are you doing, bro? That's so the same guy. Away, that's huh? the same guy on? who let her out. What did she ever? Mind your business. Doesn't he know? He didn't. So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get face. electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? <laughs> For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting Balsack. pretty restless. It, it says, he says Balsef. He looked into it deeper, He's saying Balsef. The word thorns came up over and over again. And now we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. He Drop says 
ballsack. They're all saying ballsack. The very first time they said ballsef, I heard ballsef. But because they said it like that, every other time they say it, they say fucking ballsack. You didn't figure it out. They're doing it on purpose. Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname, which means one thing: she's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. Why are you guys so, so quiet compared to everybody else? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Danny from a Renan, and that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, bright eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Turn around! Look, you see the stone your people embedded in me? There isn't one. Because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind. The scars are a reminder. Not to rest until every last face. one of you is. I can't stand this guy's face. We Danons may not be capable of using so astral weird. arts. But it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you. That's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? I like to think that all these guys ha shared a Discord server and someone Fair couldn't enough. embed one day and then someone turned off all the embeds on, on reason, the gifts until we find out why. and made fun of them and now they're just like they they Damn enslaved us. all of the people they must have tracked uh, us down. who the did that. Hurry. He's got a whole group of people who could embed and guys who can't, and that's why it's all started. Hey, Iron Mask. Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And Bye, Barrett. Try anything funny. This man threw me the rustiest sword he could find. Give him tetanus, kid. Georgie would have fucking shit him himself. A rusted longsword with a blade badly in need of repair. Fighting with it is more like using a blunt weapon rather than a bladed one. Objection! <laughs> Enemy attack! Another raid, dude. Black Death Doom, my man. What's up? How did how did the Japan any percent go? An ambush. Renans are here. I have to find an exit and get the hell out of. I don't know what I'm doing. There's puppies that died again. Come on, man. When's the RNG gonna happen? I want fucking. I want epic fucking world record. Finish. Uh, FFX Nemesis run. Oh shit. Okay. How did that go? I'm trying to save enough points for that last point reward you have. Casual playthrough? Dude, it's nice that it's nice to have a casual playthrough every once in a while, or once in a while. Damn it. What the hell are the lookouts doing? How did Ballsack's men ever find this place? You got to you got to take a break. Really take things in and then and then go back to the runs. But I'm glad you had fun. I was watching I was watching a little bit of you earlier before I started uh, setting this shit up and going to pick up my kids. Have these come? Leave everything in essential behind. We'll make do without uh one way or the other if we make it out alive. Artist, did you see that there was a typo like right in the did fucking the beginning? Going on this entire time? I just didn't know. There was immediately a typo. Like the second the second uh NPC you talked to had a typo. I was like, what? Come on, man. That scared me a little bit. Hey, if you guys like Legend of Dragoon, go follow Black Death Doom. Stop right there! No. Fuck you. Oh. It's just a Denon. You Denon? Where's the Renan girl who was here? In my ass. Well, go fuck yourself. Stab him. I want an answer, insurgent. Just kill him! How's this for an answer? Go to hell! You dare address a Renan armored soldier that way? Well, I'll show you embedded! I'm about to embed this dick on your face! Oh! 
Yo, I like this. RB to perform a normal attack. RB? Okay. Arts or sp uh, arts. Press Y, X, or A for arts. Uh, push L and RT at the same time? Oh, this is gonna be fucking goofy. Oh, this is. Uh, it's a little weird. Demon Fang? Swallow Blade. Okay. That's really weird. That's really fucking weird. Soldiers. I've got to keep going. I have to survive this. Oh, now this dude with a mask has bright eyes and is not actually an embedded. Okay. Fair enough. But why can't he take the mask off? How does he eat? What's this thing? When he cries, does he come too? Don't try to take on any armored soldiers yourself. You don't have a chance in hell of winning. The controls in this game. Oh, you can edit them. Hold on. Uh, how do you how do you do that? Do you just change the controller settings? Or key bindings? I, I'd rather it be on A, honestly. A or X. He ran through the people. It's, I don't know. It, this feels so fucking weird having it on. Ah, okay. So you just move in a direction. I thought it was saying push like L3. Yeah, <laughs> fucking try hard. Too bad. I don't like I don't like it being at RB. I feel like that's my only hang up is So like when you attack, all your arts are A, X, Y. So these are your attack buttons. And then this or these are your arts. This is your attack button, which is just fucking it just doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm playing a shooter. Like if that makes sense. Uh and then my dodge button being here, that's not too bad. I don't hate I don't hate this being my dodge. But it also is really weird. It feels like a shooter, like a weird shooter. Uh, I was trying to keep them because that's how the game was designed, but that's me personally. It doesn't feel right though. Like, I mean, you can change your, you can change your control settings in like Resident Evil games. A thing I did, attack on X, arts on circle, triangle and square. I put guard up on R1. I think I heard that attack on R1 is more common in other games like Dark Souls and stuff. I get, I get that's, that's like the only game I can think of where you like do that. Ray Chase, our voice of masked man, is also known for Artorius and Berseria. Guile, Shibuya subway announcer, D5. Kept dodge on the trigger, if only because I wanted all my attack actions on face buttons. Also, Noctis. It implies any of us ever cared about Final Fantasy XV. 
I played like five seconds of Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> I ain't playing with a fucking keyboard. Metal? Uh, fuck. I, am, I almost don't want to mess with this at all. <laughs> Put on Art Attack 3? Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind this being Jump. And then make a... A button would be... Uh, normal attack, and B button would be art attack three. Let's try that. See if that's any better. So now I can like play like this. So I'm like I'm like I'm able to utilize like every button with one hand. Damn it! I was so close. So I, I get I I see what they were like trying to do. What the? I put jump on R1. Kind of yeah. Death wish? That feels. Those I mean, I played Ape Escape, so. Here. Shut up and get out of here while you still can. Jump on R1 feels weird to me, but each their own. That way you can eat pizza with the other hand or touch my wiener. Hey, Jump one doesn't feel great, but I wasn't sure where to put it. I mean, together. same here. Besides, I didn't know where to put it. I don't much feel like being indebted to a Danon. <laughs> Fine, suit yourself. I feel like I'll use my jump more now that it's on R1 as opposed to if it was on B, because now I can, like, attack and jump without having to push B and A at the same time. Word to the wise, I call my own shot. Just stay out of my way and we'll get along quite well. Kinda new for me if you hadn't noticed. Don't expect any promises. Take it! And again! Die! You're my Damn it, Benny! You're all oh, Take this! Yeah. Shoot the blade! Yeah. Oh. One more! You're yeah. mine! Why did you help me? Designed to be help. What could a Danon like, like you possibly gain from helping a Renin like me? Pokemon being a single hand game is very nice. Trust me. Hey, I've no great love for Renins. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some. What the fuck is this? What? What did this just turn Have into a comic book? Somewhere before. Me, friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that, yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. I don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? <laughs> Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self you're gonna refine as I made it out to any percent? Actually, Besides, um, yeah, I bought a slim. Pain anyway. I bought a PS2 slim. So I've been thinking like... about it. Wait. I've got my copy really right here because pain? I've been playing it. Uh, yeah. It's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face. No memories. I only know one thing about myself. And that's that I'm a slave. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. I see. So where to next? Outside, silly. What do you think we fought all this way for? 
What if he takes off his mask and there's Stay no sharp. face? We're going Just in. a smooth bit of flesh? That'd be hot. I gotta say, I if that's how the skits are, I don't like it. I would definitely prefer the old way of the skits. But it's not bad. Definitely more effort into this, I feel like, maybe? I don't know. I just like the old way better. Glad to see you made it. Still hate this guy's fucking face. Why escape, does he look like that? But I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? Can we fight Ballsack? For us up ahead. Come on. Go back. Go back. Stay where you are, dissidents. Just look at all these soldiers. How badly did they want to destroy this hideout? Apprehend the traitor. Slaughter the rest. Damn. Look out! <laughs> GG, good game. Sion. Like, damn, homie, just pull it out. What the fuck? Well, what the heck? Is that- tell me that turns into a sword. What's happening? What the fuck? Why? Why did that turn into a sword? A blazing sword? But how? What is happening? Is she fucking Ifrit? Is this lady Ifrit? Possible. The Master Core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Oh, please tell Let's me I'm gonna melt these guys. Oh, fuck this. I ain't getting melted. You okay? Bro, you're Jones. on fire. <clears throat> oh, yeah. How about that? Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not in agony? Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? It's one of my healing arts. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. You guys should fuck. Thank you. <sighs> That'd be some crazy sex. All right. Let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry. He you're can't feel it. Us. Never end. In that case, there's Perfect. one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place. Or would want to. It's a dream come true. The blazing sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. 
No. Maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good. Not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my master core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. This is also Maggie Lou. Magic Azam! I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic. I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Uh. <sighs> you... Uh. <sighs> you're right. I don't. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died. <sighs> you have befriended a shion. Zephyr has teamed up with your party. Shion specializes in guns and astral arts. Use her to hit enemies from a safe distance and to use healing arts on allies with low HP. Healing arts cost CP to use, so mind your CP usage. When auto mode's enabled, Shion will primarily target flying and astral art wielding enemies, as well as foes with lower HP during combat. Cure points? CP is shared across party can be restored with items, or staying at an inn or campground, it can be raised by leveling up. Arts with healing support effects consume cure points? What? Get away from the mine! Alright, yeah, we've got cure points. What is CP cum points? Dylan, I'm so fully. Birthday pizza was too much. Is today your birthday? Shush your mouth. Happy birthday, artist! Damn, artist must have been avoiding those paper straws like a fucking... Like crazy today. 33 years old. Wow. Decrepit. Decrepit at this point, huh? I know, I'm almost there. Be yeah, a happy birthday, man. You're still alive. Quite an achievement. That's Glenamede Castle. Just hearing Stronghold you say 33, my back hurts. Self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. My blood pressure is arising. That's it, all right. And next to it are the gates of fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. Can you even see out of that thing? Like, at all? Of course I can. How else do you think I manage to avoid tripping everywhere I go? Oh, you can probably what see through those cracks. Anyway? It doesn't look like anything Dan and I've ever seen. Beats me. I don't remember anything about my past. When I came to, I was already wearing it. It's keeping his memories. If I could get it off, I would. Damn thing makes it hard to eat. I can't scratch my face when it itches. It's the worst. Honestly, I'm just impressed you've managed to survive this long looking like that. I'm sure you attract attention wherever you go. Most of the other Danans don't pay it any mind. It's in everyone's best interest to just keep their heads down, focus on their work, and pretend they don't notice. What about the Renan soldiers? Didn't they notice? The guards? They're more the kill first, ask questions later type. Be in the wrong place or step out of line and you're dead. Mask or no mask. That said, as long as you keep your head down and don't cause trouble, they mostly ignore you. Honestly, sometimes they don't look all that keen to stir up trouble themselves. A friend of mine said it's because if they kill us without a good reason, it could delay the work and put them behind schedule. At that point, 
It'd be their necks on the line. You should know more about all that than me, though, right? I don't serve any of the lords, but I see what you mean. So After three centuries get... of run and rule see, without much upheaval, eats. it's possible the soldiers might he be said it's hard. their edge. I was, about to, I was saying he could only eat through a straw, I could imagine. The first or he just like had in a while. fucking just. Well, I don't right plan on getting like... killed for their amusement. But you know what that means, though, right? This motherfucker does not brush his teeth. He doesn't brush his teeth. Be careful. If you get close to a zoogle, they'll attack. Yeah, fuck these zoogles. Yeah, let's go, you fucking dumbass zoogles. Stupid zoogles. Stop telling me what to do, you old fuck. Shut up. Just hit them with your sword. Thanks, Barrett. I doubt anyone here owns a toothbrush or toothpaste for that matter. A doogle right. of zoogles. The word zoogle just reminds me of the feebles. Sure Same kind of word flow. I'm fighting this guy. Look, he's got a big arm too. Normally I don't pick on the weak. I'm only I'm not done. Done. I'll run you I'm dead. Can I get revived? Guess not. All right, guys, kill him. Oh, she's got resurrection already? What the fuck? I won't rest until I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on out the, the gate Lord. with resurrection. Rising Quivern. Mirage. Now kiss me. I'm hellbent on becoming a sub. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Good night, Ryan. Thank you for the resub. Alright, Dylan, you've played for 30 minutes. That means you're ready to give us your formal review of the game already. It's alright. It's alright so far. Too strong when battle is a part of your everyday. Damn, 18 months. That's probably how- that's about how long I've been streaming. So 19 if you count the month that I wasn't doing it. Or the month I wasn't, uh... What a weird stone. Uh, affiliate, yeah. A strange power from it. What do you think this we dude's name is gonna be? It's gonna be find. something stupid, like Alan. Alan Walker. I'm not saying that's a stupid name. Uh, even though I did just say stupid. Sorry to anyone named Alan here. This is... Seems you found something good. Supplies like that are valuable. Never overlook them. Got it. I'll remember that. Look, see, this is what Tales games have been missing their whole life. It's just the ability to jump. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I've barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Resting at a campground will restore your party's CP and HP while resting. You can watch skits and cutscenes that you've previously viewed. Normally we should take we can turns fucking standing reminisce. Guard, but this first uh, time, I'll watch mm. over things so you two can Now that we're resting, easy. I'd like to take a look at that good old DLC. How about I you guys? I've never just sat and watched a fire like this before. A Master Corps, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Balsef. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? 
The ball sack. Oh, it's called the ball right. sack, yes. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me, you ever wonder why we Danons are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the master cores are the receptacles in which the lords store their power. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time? Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Core? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Core's astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the Lords. Never thought I'd say this, but... I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. I like it, cut, G. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together, we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? <laughs> Fuck. God, every time he says it, it's funnier. Ball sack. My, we'll we'll take down that ball sack. I've got to hurry. I think it's a dinky little ball sack. Who are we missing? We've got we Eric, Barrett, Uzebeck. and Cloud. Not far from here. We should Who be able to meet up with our comrades missing? there. 
Man, who just left these who just left these priceless gems laying over here? Antidote rock. It's a pretty ass rock. So where are the save points? Can you just save anywhere? Oh, it auto saves. Cut it out. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? I know staring. I already asked you this. You can't see my face. But are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? What's so hard to understand? I'm Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. Besides, I'm from Lenigus. Trust me. Wherever you were before you lost your memory, we've never crossed paths. Lenigus? You mean the same Lenigus that's up in the sky? I've heard it called the Renan's Castle, but I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. Interesting. No love for Kate, see? Good. Oh, you can dash! Hey! Yo, this is speedrunning strategy right this. here. Whenever you this find is, look, this is how you speedrun! It's edible, huh? Run with it's speed, enough. baby. Definitely. Oh. Oh. Let's go! Two hundred fifty one thousand health. Keep shooting. Shoot him. Oh, my God. Oh, you can't run? Uh-oh. Oops. Hold on, how do I switch? How do I switch to her? Ah! Run, girl! Alright, I'm, I'm soloing it. I can do this myself. I don't need them. I'm a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. No man! No man! Ah! Damn it. What happens when you lose? Wait, what? No game over? When the party wipes out in a normal fight and loses, it costs CP to recover in that same area. While you'll still return to the same area even with no CP, you won't recover HP, meaning that retreating to accrue CP can still be wise. I can't believe this. There's no game overs? What? Huh? Okay. 
Fuck it, you can't lose. Now, who fucking cares, dude? That's a shame. Normally, it should have let me run from the track. fight. I don't know why it would give you a fight like that and then not let you run. Like, all like the big beast monsters in the other games, if you fight them, you can usually run away. Well, take a look at that. Kind of monster huntery. This game feels monster huntery. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, you also can't win until you beat the guy, so moot point. You're a moot point, dude. Oh. Jeez. That loading zone was crazy. That killed my whole computer for a second. Okay, people, this is it. Ulzebeck. No sign of any Renin guardsmen. The Renins aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks that like That Mogulu really worried. comes through sometimes. Come on. I mean, so I think that's 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 enough for today. That's I just wanted I just wanted to I wanted to dip my toes in a little bit. You know, I didn't want to go too you far. Want the I'm alive. It's a good fucking song. Oh my god. Motherfuck this game, dude. I tried I tried to click quit and I clicked continue. Why is it return a title screen and not quick game? Why isn't quick game there? I'm just trying to get out of the game. It takes 10, 10 minutes. There we go. Quit. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I just yeah. I just wanted to just wanted to dip my dip my little toesies in there. Play that for a little bit. Uh, so far, I don't dislike it. I can't say I played enough to say I love it or hate it. I'm very in the middle. Fighting seems fun. Uh, graphics are fucking gorgeous. It's been been a weird thing or two here and there. I don't dislike it so far. So I'm I'm pretty like I'm pretty I'm pretty in the camp of leaning towards liking it. I'm leaning towards enjoying it. He hates it confirmed. Liktar, you know me too well. He hates it. It's uh it's it's pretty enjoyable. It's I don't know, there's something. There's something I feel like I haven't seen yet or haven't encountered yet. That's uh, you know. I feel like I feel like something weird is gonna happen soon. That's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? But it's definitely it's definitely a new game. Like what this is what the newest game I've played in a long time. Uh we might play this, uh we might play this a little later tomorrow. We'll see. Definitely depends on how things go for me. But uh if you guys didn't see it, I put together this little little montage video. Uh, I put together this little montage video of all the Tales games I played. So if you guys would like to see that, I'm gonna play it because uh, artist 
Uh, Artist wasn't here for it, and I'm pretty sure he'd like to see it again. Because he was one of the first people to see it, and I'd like him to see it on stream. So I... I'm going to play this. Uh, please enjoy. I hope you guys like that. I fucking I love that video. <laughs> this video is this video is so fucking rad. This is one of the coolest things. Just I don't know. It just documents like a fucking an entire two year journey just condensed into like several just into like two minutes and thirty seconds. It's really it's really fucking weird to see. Uh, I love that. The logo looks great. Thank Tumor. Tumor fucking Tumor did it. Tumor did it like the madman he is, like the absolute crazy man. Hey, Dink Psyduck, thanks for the follow. Oh my god. I smile into you every time we meet. Ivy! Poppy. Buff is Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. How buff and tough you are. Ivy. <laughs> Darkness Warrior, thank you for the follow. You just... You read it just after the that video every time you don't know this every time I play that video I get rated swear to God swear to fucking God Thank you. Thank you funky. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the raid. You watched it. Did you see the did you see the montage? Dude, I'll play it again. I will play it again. I swear to God. I played it twice every time I play it Hold on, hold on, where is it? I, I just closed it. Son of a bitch. Alright, hold on. Am I feeling emotional? Dude, I am. So I played... I played... I played a tiny bit. I played... I played a teeny... A teeny tiny little bit of Arise. We played like maybe an hour and a half. It's okay. I like it so far. I, I'd say it's leaning into good territory. There's There's some choices that it's made that are like weird, but not... Not hateful. It's really good. So, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I've been playing the Tales games for almost two years now. 
and I played through every single one, and I'm finally on a rise. So I made a little montage to celebrate it, and I just every time I played it today, I get rated. <laughs> I got rated three times the first time I played this shit. I'm going to play it again. I'm playing it again. I hope you guys enjoy this. I fucking love this. It's like one of my favorite things I've ever made. I hope you guys like that shit as much as I do. I fucking love I fucking love that video, man. <laughs> I'm gonna shit the fuck out of that later. Uh, I put I put all those uh I put all those clips together and uh Tumor did the end logo and he did the he did the little beginning part, so yeah, that's that's the culmination of almost two years of playing Tales games. Those are just like some of my favorite clips and shit. It's Dylan's anime opening and I had I had my Discord vote on their favorite uh, Tales theme and Karma won, which fits because Tales of the Abyss is my favorite Tales game of all time. Just S tier, I don't nothing can top it unless this game fucking blows my balls out of the water. Uh, Abyss is still number one after playing every single one of the fuckers. I would say Zestaria is probably worse than Legendia. I'm I'm very I'm very in the camp of either they're right next to each other or Zestaria is much worse than Legendia. <laughs> I'm excited to how you feel about this game. Uh, it's, I, I, I've I played an hour and a half and I think it's good so far. It's pretty good. I don't hate it and I haven't done enough to like, I haven't done enough to love or hate it, but it's, it's, it's leaning towards good so far. I'm enjoying some of the choices it's made. Some stuff is weird to me because I played a lot of other Tales games, but I'm liking it so far. I hope, I hope the momentum continues and I really fucking fall in love with it. Put some Naruto music over that and it's your new anime opening. <laughs> how did, uh... How did Pokemon go, Ivy? Go to sleep, Ivy. You were playing Pokemon for 12 hours. Jeez. I was <laughs> I was just about to end when you raided me. <laughs> I'm happy you raided me. 
so I could so I could show them that video. But I was about I was about to go to bed myself. I just I only wanted to stream for a little bit just to dip my toes in the Arise pool. <laughs> do you do you have anyone in mind you'd like me to raid? Everyone I was watching raided me today. <laughs> What's the raid message? Just use the emote. We got a raid emote. Let's raid Arceus or Mewtwo. So, looking like tomorrow, tomorrow, bro, we're four followers away from 600. Let's fucking go. Tomorrow, uh, I will, I will probably stream. Maybe if I don't stream midday, I won't stream at all because it is Halloween. Uh, I'm gonna spend this morning going trunk or treating with the kids. Uh, midday, I'm gonna go out and hand out business cards because I'm gonna be trying to make T-shirts uh, for local businesses around here. I'm gonna see if I can like sell some of those. I gotta. See if I could sell a car. So if I'm not if I'm not too busy with that, we'll see. And I gotta apply it to a bunch of jobs. But I plan on trying to use this week to to really get into a rise and finish it. I I want to finish this game so bad, or at least like get 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 into it to where I could play it. Uh, play a lot, get a really good way through it. My good friend Pickle Rick TV is playing Resident Evil 2 for the Spookies. What is it? Pickle. Underscore Rick. Okay. Give away business cards with the candy from Halloween. That's fucking genius, dude. That's fucking genius. So thank you, thank you so much, everyone who raided me today. I, I got a raid from we got a raid from uh Chaotic Kawaii Gaming, Ivy, uh Black Death Doom, uh Stone uh Stoneheart, uh Kenny. AJ, fuck, dude, every, like, all the raids today, all the raids, and a bunch of follows, I didn't get to write any of them down, thank you everybody for the, for the follows, this is, uh, it's been a great stream, it's been a great fucking two years, I can't wait to finish this game, and I hope, uh, even if, even if you're new, even if you're new to the channel, I hope you'll be able to join me finishing Tales of Arise, because it'll be, it'll be a very bittersweet end to such a long, uh, beautiful journey of mine. So let me see if I can spell this guy's name right. Raid pickle underscore Rick TTP. So yeah, and if you guys want to see that video again, you can follow me on Twitter because I'm probably gonna post it on Twitter. Uh, I'll put it in my Discord too. Uh, I don't think I'm like gonna upload it to YouTube or something. I can't do it because it's Karma is the intro, like an anime intro song, so it's copywritten. So if I put it on YouTube, they'll just mute it. So, fuck them. I'm going to shoot you a DM in a bit. I freaking love you, Dylan. You know, I love you too, Ivy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for being here, Neb. Thank you, everybody, so much. Fucking... We're almost there, dude! We're almost to 600! <laughs> Four people! And the fucking... The YouTube video is popping off. Uh, well, I, re I mean, it's, it's doing all right. This guy got, like, 50 views on it. This shit was crazy. Uh, have fun with Pickle Rick. Uh, any any friend of any any friend of Ivy's is a friend of mine. Uh, I'm gonna follow, so you better follow them too. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I will see you guys sometime soon. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.